Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Bramick. It is Wednesday, November the 3rd, 2021, and it's time for our daily devotions. We're in chapter 22 of Matthew, beginning at verse 1. And again, Jesus spoke to them in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son and sent his servants to call those who were invited to the wedding feast, but they would not come. Again, he sent other servants, saying, Tell those who are invited, See, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen and my fat calves have been slaughtered, and everything is ready. Come to the wedding feast. But they paid no attention and went off, one to his farm, another to his business. While the rest seized his servants, treated them shamefully, and killed them. The king was angry, and he set his troops and destroyed those murderers and burned their city. Then he said to his servants, The wedding feast is ready, but those invited were not worthy. Go therefore to the main roads and invite the wedding feast as many as you find. And those servants went out into the roads and gathered all they found, both bad and good. So the wedding hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to look at the guests, he saw there was a man who had no wedding garment. And he said to him, Friend, how did you get in here without a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then the king said to the attendants, Bind him hand and foot and cast him into the outer darkness. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth, for many are called, but few are chosen. All right, so this is a, I would say it's a famous parable, but it's it's a very important parable. We're getting to the end of Matthew's gospel now, and you're seeing a lot of judgment that is pronounced against God's own people, Israel. So the point of the wedding feast is that... um, God has come for his bride and uh, Israel, and Israel is uh, paying him no attention. You know, as it says here, one went off, one to his farm, another to his business. And while the rest seized his servants, treated them shamefully, and killed them. So that's a reference to how Israel has treated the prophets throughout history, that it has seized them and killed them and, and done these things. And so as a result of this, The groom is now telling the attendants to go out and to gather up the um, uh, everyone else, which would be the Gentiles, and to bring them to the wedding feast. So they're brought into the wedding feast, and then it says that there's someone in there who's found without a wedding garment, and and a lot of commentators will take this to be baptism that this person, um, you know, was not uh, prepared to be in the wedding feast through baptism, and yes, of course, we know. Baptism is not an absolute necessity because we have the thief on the cross who was not baptized and was promised to be in paradise with Jesus. But it's thought to be that or, you know, to be something in reference to having faith. And so, um, you know, there's a lot here we can make of this parable. And and we're not 100% sure of every interpretation, but um, we do believe that it is in reference to Israel being rejected and God forming for himself a new Israel. Um, And then many are called, but few are chosen, meaning that, um, you know, the gospel call goes out to everyone, but not everyone responds, hears, uh, comes into the kingdom. But for those who do, there is salvation. There is a wedding feast. Christ has come for the consummation of uh, the end of the age for his bride which we now believe to be the church. And uh, we, we've had similar uh, parables about this at the end of Matthew. And I am I think we're going to have some more because we're getting close here to Matthew 24, where there's a lot of, of such parables. And so that's, that's part of the story um, as God continues to gather up his people from every nation, Israel included, um, because obviously there were uh, people who came in from Old Testament Israel or Old Testament Israel. Israel, the nation. So, all right, let's continue now as we pray together the the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Everyone, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. Okay. Um, announcements. So, the, um, or uh, let's see. We, we're looking for someone to host our annual church 
Christmas party, um, and we're probably looking towards the end of the month, maybe around December 20th. I'll have to look that date up, but that last Saturday before Christmas. So if you are interested, you can um, get in touch with me. Um, also, we are having uh, we have an announcement about our ladies' Christmas party uh, that's coming up, and you can find that information um, in the bulletin or the uh, newsletter um, where you know to look for these things. Men's breakfast is not happening this Saturday, but is happening the following Saturday uh, at, with the elders meeting to follow, and then the council meeting will be held the next day. We're looking at doing our voters meeting um, the third Sunday in November, I believe, to approve the 2022 budget. And uh, we might need to be talking about the foundation then if, uh, if we don't end up doing it sooner. So I think that's all the announcements I have for today. God bless this the rest of your Wednesday. Um, Elizabeth will be doing the devotions um, tomorrow and Friday and Saturday. And then um, I will see you back again on Monday. So God bless this the rest of your Wednesday. And uh, please continue to join us for our daily devotions.